And tonight we welcome Josephine Biker. How you are Josephine? I'm fine thank you Gus and how are you? I'm fine too. Very fine. As a matter of fact I would describe my state as delightful, which most probably can be explained by the sheer pleasure of having you on my show. Oh thank you Gus. It's a pleasure to be here let me assure you of that. Now could you give us an idea of the breakthrough you realized in the field of complexity science recently? Certainly. Haha. <laughs> Well, it all began when I thought of this brilliant metaphor for the origin of life on this planet. Uh -huh. Yes, it might seem strange. When was the last time you did your own laundry? Excuse me? Yes, your laundry Gus. I don't remember. Well, you must have some experience with doing laundry, right? Nope. Well, that's amazing. Then it will be impossible for me to explain complexity theory to you. I'll continue for the people who do have some experience with laundry. Yes, please. Most of us are familiar with it. We put an unorganized pile of wash in the washing machine, we let it run and what comes out. All the wash has organized itself right into a divet. Now that's self-organization. Indeed. And that is how life came to being on our planet. You see, just like all the little particles that were floating around in the primordial soup were shaken around each day by the temperature differences of day and night and were periodically struck with sunbeams, so are the clothes items in the washing machine shaken around. And out of it. Out of all that. Cold soup. No, not cold soup, of course. Life. Life itself emerged. Just like the pile of clothes came out as a divet filled with clothes. Well, I really have no clue what you mean, but it must be very interesting. Thank you, Josephine. So much for the words of the scientific community. See you all tomorrow. Bye.